Greetings. Today is February 21st, 2018, and this is the first day of demonetization for me. My YouTube channel doesn't have 1,000 subscribers, so they turned off my monetization yesterday, which means they've got my 40 or $50 that they won't be giving me anytime soon because I earned that much in the last couple of months, and uh, demonetization means I cannot earn more, which means I cannot get to the threshold of a minimum $100 payout. So, please subscribe if you haven't already and ask your friends to sus subscribe, your family, create a new account and subscribe if you haven't got one. And in other news, I uh, many people who know me know that I have an electric car and they know that I uh, kind of uh, traded in some more fuel consuming vehicles years gone by. For a while, Joe and I both had smart cars. Now we have one electric car, one smart car. Because I was really concerned about uh, greenhouse gas and all that stuff, and, and particulate emissions and all that from burning fuel to drive around. Well, I've recently, because I'm always an open-minded kind of guy, recently been reading about how it is possible that the inconvenient truth is actually an inconvenient, or sorry, the inconvenient truth is actually a convenient lie. I was just reading some articles recently about the different things that are affecting climate on Earth that have nothing to do with greenhouse gas emissions from vehicles and such, and trends in the Earth, heating, cooling, and the different things connected to it. One of the cool ones is solar activity. It seems that the solar flares, the more active they are, the less cosmic radiation that reaches Earth of a certain kind, and the less radiation of that kind that reaches the Earth, the more cloudy it is, or the more cloudy it isn't, depending on which way it's going. And this affects the, uh, the heat containment at the Earth, or on the Earth, or within the Earth's atmosphere. Anyway, so I'm beginning to wonder, and I found an article that cites 10 things that make climate change perhaps a convenient lie. And when I say convenient lie, I then have to f explain why it's convenient to lie. Because follow the money. So if uh, hearing the top 10 reasons or top 10 uh, frequently cited reasons that climate change is a real thing, hearing them refuted is of interest to you, subscribe because I'm going to come back to that in the next few, well, 10 days. I have 10 things, so I'll do one a day for 10 days. The Convenient Lie About Climate Change could be the title. Thanks. Subscribe, subscribe, please. Thank you.